You ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'm honored to be with you today to introduce Jerry Symbol. I've known Jerry over the last three years here at Greenfield. I've watched him grow so much, especially during his senior year. He's an outwardly shy young man that thrives best in situations where he can use his extreme intelligence and attention to detail uh, to excel in his classwork. You can always count on Jerry to complete his assignments on time and exactly as prescribed by his teachers. Ms. Bradley says, and I quote, Jerry was amazing in the haunted trail. He was one of the first things they saw as they entered the trail. He was the crazy corn maze monster and he was terrifying. Jerry does his best and tries his hardest in everything he does. He does not accept anything less than perfect and he has such high standards for himself. I've also seen him learn how to laugh at himself and not take things so seriously this year. He has a perfectly wonderful, quirky sense of humor. I totally agree with Ms. Bradley. Jerry was a great team member on the quiz bowl this year, and I feel that his teammates were looking to him for approval as they gave their answers for the team. I've seen his sense of humor and confidence blossom too, and it makes us all smile. He works so well with others and is a great friend to all. With his intelligence, integrity, and work ethic, there are no limits to what he can accomplish. Jerry, go for it, Jerry Bear. We're all going to miss you. Thank you. So I guess I Maybe that's maybe wrong. Maybe. So, everything sound okay? Look okay? Okay, cool. So, this is me, and that's me, and that's my name. I think everyone knows that, hopefully. So, childhood. So today is April 27th, and on April 28th, 2002, I was born in Greenville, North Carolina, and I was born a lot early, but it seems like things worked out with that. Aside from some vacations in Florida, like pretty much every summer, like in childhood, I've always lived here in Wilson. Florida was kind of just like a place to go. And I feel like other places seem more new and exciting when you go there, but like I really like that in Wilson. If you've been here for like ever, you know everything about the city and nothing surprising. And it's changed a lot, but everything feels gradual. So it's just good to see. I feel like I've forgotten a lot about childhood in general, but I take comfort in knowing that it was good, so I appreciate my friends and family in Greenfield for helping that happen. These pictures, um, the one on the left is my mom and my dad and me looking traumatized all in. That's the house in Florida that my cousins live in, we were visiting at that time. And then in the middle, that is me with, my mom calls it a toy chair. I don't know if that's what it's actually called, but I look very comfortable. And then the one on the right, that's supposedly from Imagination Station, but I don't have any proof or any knowledge of that, but apparently I was there. And then I don't even, <laughs> I don't know what the middle one is, but I'm climbing up a ladder and that's, entertaining, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I feel like I, with childhood, my favorite part of it was traveling to places. Like I went to Philadelphia in the first grade and that was amazing. And I really liked seeing the Liberty Bell and the history in the city and just the buildings and everything was so different than Wilson. So looking back, I'm happy I experienced that. And yeah. So, next. 
this is school years. Then the picture in the back is the class of 2020, which is everybody. I feel like I should name everybody, but <laughs> I think everyone knows everyone. Um, so I've always gone to school at Greenfield, even though I guess now it's online, so I don't know if it's at Greenfield, but that's cool. And it's pretty much always been the best choice, and I'm really happy with how it worked out. And I think every year it has, like the school has gotten better and just like the experience has gotten better. And so I really couldn't ask for a better school, better school in that regard. I don't think I have any like favorite subjects anymore. It used to be math because it was easy and I was actually fast with it, but like now it's just not that way. So I don't really have a favorite subject but I just like all the ones that have good teachers and that's pretty much all of them, so that's good. And I feel like there's so many Greenfield traditions that I can't think of any because <laughs> it's like, it's so normal. Like there's always one that's happening, so I, I don't know. But I really like the haunted trail, like Miss Peel said, like helping set it up and just like be a part of something that's like greater than yourself and raising money and all, all that was just really nice. And I also like during the Haunted Trail, I talked to a lot of people who I really never talked to, even though we go to the same school. <laughs> so it was cool to do that. And then I think, I don't think any of my teachers were, were not influential. And if you're here right now, you surely influenced me a lot. And I appreciate that. I don't wanna like really single anyone out. Um, one person who's not teaching me anymore would be Dr. Blame. And I think he is amazing. And I'm just here to say that and blush about him because he was great. And when he was here the first year, he taught my, like the class of 2020 science, and I don't think he taught any other class science. And I don't know if that is a bad sign, but we learned a lot about the phases of the moon, and that was the highlight of my existence, so that's good. And yeah, pictures. The one in the top right is from graduation last year, and it's one of my favorite pictures. It's of me and Jade and Caitlin and Hayden. It just looks nice. Then bottom middle, that is me in like, I guess preschool. And I was just up as a cowboy on Halloween. I think to the left of me is Rachel Thomas and the right is Kate Eagles. I don't know what they were doing, but that's cool. And then on the far right, that is me posing with artwork that is not mine. It's <laughs> plagiarism, but that's okay. Next. Activities. So, all of these activities are a long time ago. I have not done anything ever since, but that's, that's cool. Um, the back picture is me kayaking, and my dad was with me, but you can't tell. And that was fun. I really thought I would hate it, but it was actually enjoyable. Top right is me rock climbing. I don't really know where that was, but <laughs> it happened and that was, I feel like I remember it, so that's more than I can say about a lot of things. And the bottom right is me posing with, like, posing at a baseball game with one of the mascots. And I really like that picture because I remember liking that mascot a lot. And then finally the middle picture, I feel like it was always like <laughs> a joke that maybe Jerry had a black belt or something and that was entertaining but it actually was true but I don't think it actually means what people think it means because people just assume that it <laughs> it means that you're like some crazy fighter I mean you get it from activities but it's really just about like the discipline of working for it and so on and I feel like that meant the most to me in the long run because I feel like it taught me a lot as a child about how to go through life and so on. So yeah, that is that. Future plans. The back picture is me smiling. It has not, 
because everybody says they want to be happy in the future, so I had to say that too. And that is that picture's meaning. The top right is the picture that my mom thought was the best thing that she's ever seen. And <laughs> it really captures the true <laughs> importance of NC State, I think. I haven't really committed to any college, but like I'm basically 109% sure that NC State's the best option because it just, with all the majors I'm interested in, like computer science, which is the picture on the bottom right, but also the picture on the bottom right could mean online classes if you really look into the deep low of the picture. But anyway, just with computer science and all that, like NC State has basically the best program around. And also you can commute to NC State, which is very ideal for like money and just a lot of things. It'll be interesting to see how it actually works out considering that there's a pandemic and stuff. But assuming somehow the world goes to normal, that would probably be where I go what I do and stuff. But I don't know if I would be like those people, but and I don't know. <laughs> And then closing thoughts. Thank you for not jumping ship and still listening during the presentation. That means a lot to me. The top left picture was just very convenient placing of Wood High School. And then the bottom right was Halloween and CMU, and that was probably the best holiday Halloween ever for me. I really like that picture, just everything about it. And the picture in the back is probably my favorite of all time, just because everything about it is perfect to me. <laughs> but that was in JCPenney, so it, it can't be replicated now since JCPenney is going out of business everywhere, but you know, that's, that's okay. I was wearing a French hat, but whatever it's called, I was wearing that. And then I never bought it, and so I can never relive the glory of that picture. But anyway, I hope this presentation was semi-enjoyable, and if not, your day can only get better now. So that's good. <laughs> and I would like to thank everybody who's here, and all my teachers, and my parents, and just everybody in existence who's ever impacted me in any way at all. And that is pretty much it, Elfin. Good job, Jerry. 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 Good job. Good job, dear bear. Great job, Jerry. That's great job. Good great job, Jerry. Very proud of you. Thank you. <laughs> Jerry, my face good, hurts Jerry. from like I'm smiling. Good. Did you hear? <laughs> Jerry, my face hurts because I was like smiling so big. You're so funny. And it was so great. <laughs> it was very entertaining. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good job, Jerry. Jerry, good. Thank you, Ms. Noy. <laughs> that was great, Jerry. Thank you. I enjoyed seeing your pictures for your childhood. It looks like it was a really happy one. Thank you. It was. Aww. You have me crying, Jerry. I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> miss you too. Oh no, Jer Bear. All right, seniors, don't forget tomorrow at 2.30 for our next presentation. Don't be late. Good job.